If you're not familiar with my channel, I've made several informative videos to help visitors enjoy Glacier National Park. And this year, before you watch any of those, I must tell you about a new rule change that will affect everyone trying to enter the park at either end of the Going to the Sun Road from Memorial Day to Labor Day between 6 a.m. and 5 p.m. In an effort to reduce overcrowding, Glacier Park Management is requiring every vehicle entering the park at either end of the Going to the Sun Road to have a $2 reservation ticket or a documented reservation for lodging or any other park vendor service, like a red bus or, or tour boat, before entering the park at either West Glacier or at St. Mary. The reservation tickets will be available online starting April 29th. The dated tickets can be purchased up to 60 days in advance of your trip, and they are valid for seven days after initial entry. So if you're staying longer than that, well, you'll need two reservations. In 2019, 2.6 million people visited the park during those summer months, with over 900,000 in the month of July alone. And the Sun Road, Logan Pass, and the nearby trails were simply overcrowded, and it negatively affected the park experience for everyone. So this reservation system is designed to reduce overcrowding. It'll prevent many from being able to visit the park, but frankly, it's become overcrowded. And something had to be done. Oddly, the Park Service has not said how many reservations will be available each day. There are less than a thousand beds slash campsites in the park, so those affected are the vast majority of those who stay outside the park. Fewer people in the park would seem to mean fewer people renting those hotel rooms. But apparently local business organizations approve of the plan. Approximately two-thirds of the reservations will be available up to 60 days prior to the first entry. And for those who aren't very good at planning, one third will be available just two days before the entry date. And these reservation tickets are not needed for Two Medicine and Many Glacier, and the other areas not accessible from the Sun Road. Those who spend the time and considerable amount of money to come to Glacier, but who could not get one of those reservations, will likely flood to these areas. And there's no doubt that these areas will be even more crowded this year and daily closures due to overcrowding can be expected. To get an idea of how frequently these areas are closed, check with the park's website in the days and weeks before you come to see closure patterns. By the way, in Many Glacier, road construction delays are expected to add up to 40 minutes to your travel time anyway. There is little doubt in my mind that next year, reservations will be required for these areas too. I've made the long, expensive trip to Glacier most of the last 25 years. But in recent years, the traffic and crowds and forest fires convinced me to cancel. And yes, the lack of affordable room rates in the park also is a bit of a problem. So last year, I decided to go to the park in early October. The fall color was incredible. And I found a great little place to stay just a few miles outside the west entrance. Though the parking at Logan Pass and Trail of the Cedars, well, it was hard to come by by about 8 a.m. But the trails and the pullouts along the Sun Road were definitely less crowded than during the summer months. It convinced me that I need to make more off-season visits. And with this new ticket reservation system, there's likely to be revisions. So if you're going to the park this year, check with the park's website frequently. And when you come, don't forget to bring your reservation ticket for the Sun Road and to print out your reservation if you happen to be staying inside the park or using a boat tour or taking a red bus tour. You will need them at the park entrance on the Going to the Sun Road on either the east or west side from Memorial Day weekend through Labor Day between 6 a.m. and 5 p.m. Please find and click the like button. It's hidden pretty well if you're watching on your big TV. And consider subscribing to help support this channel. Patreon donations, they're also extremely welcome. Now I'll hope you watch at least one of my guides of my favorite park. They're designed to help you plan your trip and show you just how beautiful the park is.